Okay, here's part two of the video. We only have a couple slides left. Um, this We're going to carry out a simulation. So uh, using a random um, table of numbers. Remember from the last slide, though, that we if we have repeats, that's okay. We do not skip them because these numbers are now representing a success or a fail, whether we get what we want or don't. It's not representing people anymore. So you do count repeats. Okay. Um, so this says, let's say Diet Dr. Pepper runs a contest with bottle caps and the contest claims that one in five wins. What proportion corresponds to one in five? Okay, well, one out of five is 0 0.20 or 20%. So they're claiming that 20% of the time um, you're going to win. What are some possible ways to assign digits and use a random number table to simulate a sample of 10 Diet Dr. Pepper bottle caps? So what we want is we want to assign numbers for winning and losing. Now winning should only be 20% and losing should be 80%. So let's assign numbers for that are going to represent win and assign numbers that are going to represent lose. Okay, now um, we can do this so many different ways. Let's say we use um, numbers from 1 to 5. Okay, if we're using numbers from 1 to 5, pick one of the numbers. How about uh, 2? And the rest are going to be from up to 5 are going to um, represent losing. So um, like 1, 3, 4, 5, something like that. So anytime I get a 2, that's a win, and anytime I get a 1, 3, 4, 5, that's a lose. So if we use this random number table, a 1 is a lose, a 9 doesn't count because we um, weren't using it, a 2 is a win, a 2 is a win, a three is a lose, a nine doesn't count again, a five is a lose, a zero didn't count, a three is a lose, a four is a lose. Have we done ten of them yet? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Zero doesn't count, five is a lose, seven doesn't count, five is a lose, six doesn't count. Now how many would we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need one more. Oh, here we go. A two win. All right. So we won three out of the 10. Okay. Could do it that way. Um, let's erase and do it a little differently. Now I didn't have to pick the number two for winning. I just picked one number from one to five. We can do this so many different ways. I could use the numbers zero to four. Okay, we could say that winning is a zero and losing is a one, two, three, or four. There I have five numbers. One out of the five is a winner. Could do it that way. Um, let's say we use like um, 10 numbers. So how about winning? Let's say we did winning was if you get a 1 and a 6, just randomly picking two numbers, because now we're going, we're picking 10 numbers, so 2 out of 10 should win. So I just randomly chose a 1. Well, I didn't really randomly, but I picked 1 and 6 to be the winners. So then the lose would be 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. Although that's not really going to work because 
if I go to 10, how am I going to, I can't go by ones then because if I get a 10, wouldn't I have to go by twos? So like here, I'll try to give you an example. Okay. So a one is a win. A nine is a lose. A two is a win or a lose. Sorry. Lose, 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 lose. Zero, I didn't have. Three is a lose, four is a lose. I got a zero again, I didn't have that. Five is a lose. Do you see how if I go by one digit every time, I'm never gonna get a 10? So maybe what I should do is instead of one through 10, maybe I should go zero through nine. With with the simulation thing, it's easier to include zero because zero pops up a lot. So if I go zero to nine, okay, let's say my winners are still one and six. Again, you could pick any two numbers from zero to nine and have those be your winners. And lose would then be zero two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Okay, do I have 10 numbers? 10 numbers and two out of the 10 are winners. That corresponds to one fifth. All right, now let's do it this way. Okay, so a one would be a win, a nine would be a lose, two would be a lose, Again, another two would be a lose. I'm not, it's not, I, I count the repeat because it's whether you're winning or losing, all right? It's not like it's the same person twice. It's just a win or versus lose. Um, three is a lose. Nine is lose. Five is lose. Zero is lose. Three, lose. Four, lose. Okay, now how many have I done? Have I done 10? Okay, so this time I got one in 10 was a winner, okay, for that simulation. So the idea behind a simulation is you can pick your own numbers. Um, I would include zero, maybe more than you're used to. So if I have 10, um, if I'm going to do it out of 10, I would have 0 through 9 rather than 1 through 10. Because again, I would want to keep consistent whether I'm going by one digit each time or if I'm going by two digits. Okay. All right. Now here's uh, two scenarios where there's something wrong with each scenario and we have to figure out what's wrong. Okay, so the first one says a roulette wheel has 38 colored slots, 18 red, 18 black, and two green. That's true, nothing wrong with that statement. To simulate one spin of the wheel, let numbers 00 to 18 represent red, 19 to 37 represent black, and 38 to 40 represent green. Okay, now you see how they're using 00? They're not just saying, 0 to 18, they're saying 0, 0 because they're going to go by two digits each time, you know, two numbers at a time as they go across the table. But here's the problem. 0, 0 to 18, that's actually 19 um, numbers. And we were supposed to have 18 red. And then look at 19 to 37. So if you count it on your fingers, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. That's also 19. Not 18. And then 38 to 40. 38, 39. 40, that's three numbers, not two. 
there's only supposed to be two green. So that's where the problems are. If they wanted to fix this up, okay, let's say we fix it up, we, we could go from 0, 0 to 17. That would represent 18 red. And then we could go from 18 to what? 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 18 to 36 would be black. And then 37 to 38 would be green. Oh, no, I've, I did that wrong, didn't I? Let's back it up here. Count this 18 to 36 one more time. It should be 18 numbers. Count it on your fingers one more time. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. It should only go through 35. So we have to fix that. So you have to be very careful um, with how you number these. Okay, so 0, 0 to 17 is red, 18 to 35 is black, and then 36 and 37 would be green. That's if we were going to fix it. Okay, uh, part B. About 10% of U.S. adults are left-handed. To simulate randomly selecting one adult at a time until you find a left-hander, use two digits. Let 0, 1 to 10 represent being left-handed, and 11 to 0, 0 represent being right-handed. <clears throat> All right, now here's what you need to know about this whole 0, 0. Sometimes people use 0, 0 as 0, and sometimes people use 0, 0 as 100. So in this case, 0, 1 to 10, all right, first of all, 10%, that would be 10 out of 100, right? Okay, so 0, 1 to 10 is 10 numbers, that's being left-handed, and then 11 to 100, technically this is like 11 to 100, but instead of using 100, they're using a 0, 0 to keep it a two-digit number. You know, because they didn't start at 0, 0, they started at 0, 1. So it's like they took the 0, 0 at the beginning and moved it to the end to represent 100. Well, that's, that's 90 numbers right there, so that's fine, right? So we've got 10 numbers representing being left-handed and 90 numbers representing um, being right-handed for a total of 100 numbers. So we do have the 10 out of 100 ratio going on, but here's where the problem comes in. It says move across the row in table D two digits at a time. That's fine. That's why they didn't go to 100 because that's a three digit number. They're going two digits at a time, skipping any numbers that have already appeared. Boom, that's the problem right there. Whoops. This skipping any numbers that have already appeared, that's a big no-no because we, if we have repeats, it's just another win or lose, or just another left-handed person or right-handed person. Um, so don't skip. <clears throat> okay, so that's the main problem with this one, is that we shouldn't have skipped. Okay, that is it. So you can look at your assignment sheet and do um, the first homework assignment. Thank you.